Charles how to utilize your Facebook profile in five easy steps. Hi, my name is Jen Lillian and welcome to my channel. Um, I'm actually a, a quality lead and client generation coach and if you have a business and you're wanting more quality leads and clients into your business, then you are actually in the right place. Uh, feel free to subscribe and hit that bell notification as well because I actually, on a daily basis, create videos such like these uh, into your life so you can actually keep up to date with all the latest strategies, what my mentors are telling me, what, uh, what's working for me, what I pass on over to my clients as well. So yeah, feel free to follow and I would love to hear from you. Let me know what's going on in your business. So there are basically five simple steps that you can actually optimize a profile page. I've actually done a recent video about the importance of a Facebook profile and what it actually means for your business because most business owners, and I was there before myself when I run my four indoor cycling studios, is that we end up concentrating more so on a business page as opposed to a profile page. Now, unfortunately, um, a business page when it comes to Facebook doesn't get as much reach anymore. In, in fact, it doesn't get hardly anything at all as Facebook has now become a bit of a pay to play type platform. And that's great if you have um, a lot of money for Facebook and you know what you're doing and you can optimize your Facebook ads, awesome. But if you're just starting out or maybe just dabbling in Facebook, um, it's not always good to focus on your business page. And if you're looking for organic strategies, then there are other ways that you can actually get quality leads and clients into your business. So why use your personal page? Um, yeah, many reasons. The first one being is actually you can have up to 5,000 friends. So if you were to maybe go off and find potential prospects, clients, customers, whatever it is that you have for your business um, and, and friend them, uh, they're going to be seeing your posts because the reach on your profile page is so much more than what it is on your business page. And you might think, well, why, I might end up annoying or, you know, peeing off my existing friends and family. And I get that. And you can actually, if you really wanted to, create a whole new personal page. However, as a business owner, um, we have a lot of things going on in our lives. We've got the family as well as the business as well in most cases. So it's just tough, isn't it, to like think about managing something else. So at the cost of maybe annoying a few people with your regular posts, then at the end of the day, it's a free world. They can actually unfollow you. It's not really a big deal. You just need, I think, you as a business owner to get your head around that. So yes, now that I've uh, managed to persuade you to uh, really look at your personal page as a place for you to get leads and quality clients into your business, this is what you need to do. So step number one, I actually recently updated my own uh, personal profile page yesterday. So this is what I thought I'd do like a series of videos when it comes to priming your Facebook profile. So here, um, what I would suggest you do as step number one is go to one of your competitors and see what they're doing. It'd be most likely if they're actually really on the uh, most current um, way of marketing their business, they probably will have a, a, a profile um, image, a profile picture that directs them to a group. Now more about Facebook groups in, um, in another video, but this is really about directing people from your profile to your Facebook group. And I've just so happened to recently just redesign my own profile picture so you can have a look. But I would recommend that you actually are uh, to find a competitor and just see what they're doing. And basically, it's usually all about modeling something that works, model, uh, model success. So from here, this is like number one, create a um, image that actually fits within the dimensions. You can Google that if you're struggling to find the dimensions. And then number two is to always have a description. So a link that follows people into a group that you're going to be creating, so a Facebook group. So here I've actually included a, a bit.ly link. If you're not sure about what a bit.ly link is, it's basically a website that you can sign up to for free and you can actually 
um, uh, really measure the amount of clicks that your particular links that you created, a unique link, um, is getting. So for example, if I was to click here, this, the, the, this then actually takes people to my own personal community. And if you want to join my community, you are more than welcome. It's called the Quality Clients Generation Community. Um, and this is what you'll see. So um, that is step number two. So step number one is the profile picture. Step number two is make sure you have a description as to what the community is about and to make sure you leave a link for people to press on, which goes onto the Facebook group that you uh, will be creating. Number three, step number three is, is to make sure you have an intro. So what your group is about. Now, my intro is here. Want to learn how to create quality leads and clients into your business? Join my free community. And I've got these two little um, images here, same pointing down. And this leads to step number four, which is using that same bit.ly link I've just spoken about, but have it here. So it's very easy to direct people into your closed Facebook group. So they would then press this link. And then again, it will go to the same page we've just seen into my um, community. So here you can see all the bits and bobs about my community. Um, obviously, you may not be in my niche, that's absolutely fine, but if I was to show you my client that I've been working with at the moment, John Robinson, he has his own gym, um, I've suggested he does the same with his profile, so we've actually worked together and came up with this um, profile cover, which then, if you click on it, this is like step number two, it has a direct link to their, to his community, and if you were to click off that, and step number three, he's obviously got a very clear intro as to what his community is. And then number four, he's got that bit.ly link as well. Again, directing people who actually go onto his page, into his community, like I have as well. And the fifth one, fifth step is to have a feature picture. Now you can actually select up to nine feature pictures but I just think one because it stands out more and I think as well just to have one which is I uh, which is congruent or you know looks the same to your profile picture so again people would then uh, look at your your feature picture they'll click on it as instructed to do it says click here and again it would go down to the um the link what i might actually do note to self is i might just put that link to my group right at the top like i actually suggested my client <laughs> john to do here if i was to click on his feature so then it's just easier for the client to find your community link and again i'm going to go into more detail about um you know how to create a group or a community um, but yes, let's just work on these five steps for now, um, get everything primed, and then you can think about then creating your group. But what I would do, just to go back one step, is just to create a group first, and then um, do all this. I should have really said that at the beginning, do apologise. So yeah, it does make sense to actually create a group first. And it's really easy to create as well. You would just need to go to the create button and then you would create a group. Yeah, that would be the best logical order in all honesty. So um, yeah, before you do all this, create the group first and then uh, you would then do the five steps. But in, in, at the end of the day, you can do all this in a day. So uh, when you start, uh, you know, um, like for example here, uh, I've actually got five people pending. So you, you can always just have a, a pool of people waiting for you to confirm them into your group. And then you can go from there. But it just depends really what stage you are in your business. But you, you get the general gist <laughs> of what I'm trying to uh, relay over to you here. Okay, so if you've got any questions, then please let me know. If you've actually um, started this type Facebook profile funnel, 
then uh, then yeah awesome send me a link I would love to have a look at what, what you've done um, any obstacles along the way that let me know feel free to leave a comment in the description box if you actually want to join my group then obviously we've been discussing it here find my name Jen Lillian or there's a description of my group below you can follow the link if you want to learn how to generate good quality leads and clients into your business this is obviously a free organic strategy that I'm talking to you about um, and if you're getting stuck along the way, I actually do offer a business strategy call and we can together just have a chat on the phone. We can map out a roadmap for you to be working from. And uh, I do obviously have onward services as well, should you want to like discuss that um, at a later date. But yeah, I'm just here to help because I know how frustrating it can be sometimes when you are running a business and you've got loads of stuff going on. But uh, I want to try and make you know your business journey um, as manageable as possible so you can concentrate on your business and no doubt you have a family as well to think about outside of business and uh, you've got more time for other things. And right, then I will speak to you soon.